Falls. Oddly enough, the Titanic sailed past his home along the banks of Southampton Water. The grim task of collecting bodies from the sea was given to the cable ship Mackay Bennett. She left Halifax on April the 17th for the four-day passage to the scene. The makeshift coffins are stored on the deck. Captain Lardner and his crew picked up 306 bodies, a third of which were buried at sea. Nothing remained of the ship Titanic. It would be 72 years before she was seen again. I'm joined on this quayside in Southampton by Milvina Dean, one of only two English survivors of the Titanic who are still alive. Milvina, how did you come to be a passenger on the Titanic? Well, we were immigrating to Kansas. Uh, my, my, my father had a public house in London and was told by his relations in Kansas there was more opportunity there, so he decided to emigrate to Kansas. And we weren't supposed to go on the Titanic, we were going on another ship. But because there was a coal strike at the time, and all the coal was needed for the maiden voyage of the Titanic, um, they asked him if he'd like to go on the Titanic. So of course, he was delighted. In the years which followed, did your mother recount details of the tragedy to you? The little my mother spoke about it, she never said it was awfully bad or anything. And she sent a card home to my grandmother in the forest, saying everything is fine up to now. She sent that from Ireland, from Queenstown, and everything is fine up to now. It sounded really a bit ominous, didn't it? Did she, in the years which followed, did she recount to you what had happened on the Titanic? Not until I was eight years old. And then she was going to get married again, so thought that she'd better tell me about it. So all she said was, the night it happened, uh, we were all in the cabin, and my mother and father, they heard uh, a crash. And my father said he'd go up on deck to see what had happened. He went up on deck and said, apparently the ship has struck an iceberg. Get the children out of bed and up on deck as quickly as possible. That's what my mother did. They never stopped to think the ship is unsinkable, as some did. And we got up on deck, with, I think with the help of a sailor. And my mother was saying goodbye to my father. And he said, hope to see you later. And got into life at number 13. Because I was small, I was put in a sack over the, and put over the side like